this video, we're exploring this cool 3D printer that I had no idea existed. It's a 3D paper printer. So in this video, we're going to talk about what it is, how it works, its perks and the problems, and a bunch of more stuff. So stick around till the end of the video to find out. All right, let's start with what it is. So it's basically a 3D printing process that uses paper instead of plastic. It was developed by MCOR Technologies, and it basically has the same idea as a plastic 3D printer. So you feed it an image or a model through a computer, just like regular 3D printing. So here, let's imagine that we want to print a mouse, a computer mouse. So we're going to draw out the shape that we want, 3D model it, and then we're basically going to feed it to the printer. The printer is then going to cut it up in layers, and it's basically going to have all these different shapes for the different parts of the mouse. The printer is equipped with a 3D inkjet printer that colors the sheets of paper, which means you don't need to color it afterwards, which is awesome and better than plastic printers. Um, and then it cuts the paper according to these shapes that it used to slice the product. So the shapes that it got after slicing the, 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 the mouse is going to cut up those shapes into the paper. And then it's going to stack these sheets of paper and, and stick them together with a special water-based adhesive. At the end, you get a 3D product, as you can see here, a very, very rough, not very precise <laughs> model that I tried to make for explanation purposes. Now let's look at the perks. There are quite a few. The final product you get is extremely precise. The machine uses water-based adhesives and inks, and basically that means that there are no toxins produced during the manufacturing process, which is not the case with a lot of processes, but we're getting there. So this is a great step towards ecological manufacturing. There's no need for any further steps of painting, and there are very little steps of polishing and just making sure that the detail is there. And that means we're saving on energy. Supposedly, recycled paper works really well with this process, which means that you can imagine taking back recycled paper or waste paper and reusing it in this kind of context. This 3D printer is much less expensive than its plastic 3D printers in that pl the plastic filament is much more expensive than the paper, obviously, and it's estimated that it's 50 times less expensive. It's also said that this type of printer is faster than plastic printers, and so that way you're saving on more energy. So basically, this is an awesome, cheap way of prototyping. The company actually hopes that it will be used in the medical field as well as the dental and they also hope that it will be used as a prototyping tool in universities like we do today with plastic 3D printers. Now let's take a look at the few problems that this printer has. So today, right now, this printer is limited to A4 sized papers, so the products can't be larger than that. But hey, so are plastic printers, they're limited to the size of the platforms. So. Maybe that'll change, maybe we'll, we'll be able to make bigger platforms or bigger printers. Another problem with this printer is that it cannot print really thin and kind of long shapes. That's not really the kind of product that you can make with this manufacturing process. It's, it's also not really made for mass production, so it's really prototyping, testing, stuff like that. The printer today is quite big still, it's quite a big machine, and it costs 5,000 and some dollars, and so it's quite big and quite expensive. So it is something to take into consideration before you buy such a printer. So what we learned today is that there are some really cool things to learn about out there in the world. So I hope you learned something new with this video. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Do you think that this is a cool technique or do you think that the products are gonna be flimsy or I don't know? Do you think this is better or worse than plastic 3D printers? Let me know in the comments. Stick around for more and I'll see you later.